Yeah, it's not just cancer research. I think there's lots of other projects. I, I mentioned clean energy projects, for example, which I think the whole future of the world depends on. These are the, 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 the real point of my presentation was that these are projects have whether we're talking about projects to cure cancer, or projects to cure some other disease, or uh, you know, clean energy projects, they've all got they've got a certain characteristics in common that they've got a low probability of success usually. But if they are successful, there's a huge payoff. And um, yeah, I think this is you know, it, it's a it's a problem funding these projects. I mean, if I asked you to fund one project, I said, well, you know. All you've got to do is to give me $200 million and it's got a 5% probability of success, you wouldn't be interested. So the first thing you've got to do is to think about putting these projects into a pool, um, a portfolio. And, uh, and then the next thing is, well, we've got this financial technology to uh, tranche out the risks in debt instruments. Why don't we apply the same technology to uh, funding projects? And that's, you know, it's a very simple idea.